Hey, if you've got one of these little Harbor Freight or whatever Chinese rebranding they want to put on these augers, it's this one right here. Um, one of the things that they tell you on your little auger, and these are very good. This is a very powerful little auger for digging, and it'll run a six inch, a four inch and six inch extremely well. So if you look here, it says user must check gearbox every eight hours. Um, there's a big reason for that. One, these are dirt cheap, and two, the mineral oil based lube they put in these literally consumes itself it's it's just freaking cheap now you'll notice they put double rings on here do not throw away one of the rings one of them is used for a friction stopper so that when you spin this it doesn't split the bottom ring do not change that out make sure you have double rings if you replace it you will be using a plumbing washer and just take this down and get the right size at home depot or lowe's if you lose that washer or you damage it so now what i use and you can look down in there probably see that there's really not much in there you see the metal in there and you're going to lean this at about a 15 degree angle just like you'd prop it on a fence post so that you can detect whether or not you'll see metal in the upper gears of your gearbox and what I use is this stuff, Lubramatic. Now the reason I use this is it's extremely, extremely good for using it in wet conditions or if you store this thing outdoors or it gets rained on. This stuff here doesn't seem to collect moisture. That's why I use it. And if I can find a link for it, I'll put it on there. Look at the bottom of the, right below the video and like the description part and look for this. The second thing that I use is this stuff. Now, this will reduce consumption drastically and take this little tiny two and a half horse motor and give it a good damn boost by reduction of friction. This is a crappy gearbox. It's got a lot of friction to it. You actually lose about 20% of your power due to the crappiness of this gearbox. Now, they do dig good. They will last a long time. I've made these last two and three years and for under 200 bucks, it's worth it. But that right there and i'll put you a link for both of them okay so here let me get you a good picture of that and i'll put you a link in there for both of them you want to top it off with this to where you can see it come above that metal gear just above it and then you're going to put about a tablespoon of this in here which is the it's made in germany it's extremely good stuff i've been using this for years and liquid molly so you'll like it and you'll notice immediately that it's a lot quieter and it has a lot more torque. So let me get that process started and I'll show you the cap off of it and putting the seal back on it. Make sure you do not put more than 15 foot pounds of torque on this and you'll be able to just feel that with a wrench. So let's go with the next step. All right, I put some of this liquid molly in there, a little over a tablespoon. Um, it's, it's a very gray color. It is made with uh, a type of a polymer or whatever MOS2 friction anti-friction it works very good it doesn't take much this gearbox only holds about five and a half ounces of lube or oil um, 85 to 140 weight if you're in in the south down Texas Arizona run the 140 if you're up north Minnesota Illinois or something go ahead and run the 70 to 85 weight and you'll be fine and just about a tablespoon of this stuff and it's shocking how well it works so this thing that wouldn't dig very well because it was one low on oil in it and secondary it needed to be treated like i had done my pickup truck and i'll show you the results of my pickup truck here when i'm finished testing this stuff in it all right so you're just gonna put your cap back in grab a little bit a little bit of the lube put it on that plastic right there that seal and thread her back in and in my case, I've done this a number of times. I've had numerous one of these. You're just gonna kind of bump it a little bit. And that's about it. 15 pounds is the max that plastic gasket can handle on that. Easy to fix. Look for the links down at the bottom of the page there, down below the video there. And hopefully that'll help you make these things last you a lot longer. Do not leave them outdoors if you don't have to, but if you do, use the right oils in it.